everybody welcome back to cooking with tk today you guys i'm going to show you how i make these delicious butter swim biscuits that's right these are butter swim biscuits biscuits that have a good buttery taste they're very fluffy <laughs> let me put it out there they're very fluffy and it's simple and easy with some simple ingredients so let's go ahead you guys and let's get started Okay, everyone, the ingredients you will need to make a delicious biscuit. Simple, easy biscuit recipe. This is the basis of a two ingredient biscuit recipe and a swim biscuit recipe mixed together. Anyone can do this. You will need some heavy whipping cream, some self rising flour, you will need some sugar, you will need some butter, and you will need just a pinch of salt. So these are the ingredients that you will be using to make some delicious, easy biscuits. So let's get started. Okay, so the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to melt me some butter, okay? The amount of butter will be listed in the description box below, okay? Um, I think you're gonna need just one whole stick of butter to make swim biscuits, just one stick of butter. So I'm going to take my one cup measure and I am going to measure out me two whole cups of flour, okay? To make my biscuits, two whole cups of flour. Or if you're making a smaller batch, just measure out one cup of flour. So let's just do one cup of flour. Okay, so I have one cup of flour measured out. Okay, so that's one cup of flour. One cup of self rising flour. I know I keep repeating it, but I want to make sure that you get it. If you make a smaller pan, you measure out one cup of self rising flour. If you are making a larger pan, you will measure out two cups of self rising flour. And now I am going to pour in one cup of my heavy whipping cream, or you can use buttermilk. This is a measuring cup for liquid measure, okay? So use one cup of heavy whipping cream to your one cup of flour. If you're using two cups of flour, you will use two cups of heavy whipping cream. Now I have measured out uh, one tablespoon of granulated sugar. One tablespoon of granulated sugar for our biscuit dough recipe. Well, the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna add in my sugar, okay? Cause these biscuits are for breakfast. So I just want a little sugar taste to them. Just add in a pinch of salt, just a pinch, not too much. And after I do that, I'm gonna go ahead and mix this together. If you have a sifter and you would like to sift your ingredients together, go ahead. But I'm just gonna give it a quick stir, okay? And if you want your biscuits to rise, go ahead and add you some, a teaspoon of baking powder. Just a teaspoon, okay? But I'm not gonna need that because this is self-rising flour and it's gonna rise up enough, okay? Okay, so give that a good stir. Okay, after you have given it a quick stir, we are going to go in and add in our buttermilk. I mean, I'm sorry, not buttermilk. Um, if you wanna use buttermilk, I guess you can, but you're gonna have to add some Crisco. This is an easy way to make it without adding Crisco because 
the Heaven Whipping Cream has um, fat in it. So what I'm doing is I am going to create a well here. I want y'all to see, okay? And I'm going to pour my buttermilk in. Not all at once, but a little bit at a time. And I'm just going to start mixing it together. It's going to be kind of like a wet base, y'all. A wet base mix. And I'm just going to go ahead and mix this together. I don't know why I keep saying buttermilk when I'm using heavy whipping cream. I'm sorry, y'all. Pour in your heavy whipping cream. And just mix it together. Okay? Remember, this is... The two ingredient biscuit um, recipe is more for like a dry biscuit. But because we're making swim biscuits, we want a wet kind of like dough. So all that didn't come out. I'm going to add just a dab of my heavy whipping cream. Just a dab, y'all. So I can have a wet base. And I'm going to mix this together. So I hope you guys are going to do this recipe along with my video. Okay. So get it all mixed together. Okay, so this is the baking dish that I will be using. And what I'm going to do is just pour my melted butter at the bottom of my baking dish okay so that's the next step is to pour the melted butter at the bottom of your baking dish so now all you're gonna do is take your dough plop your dough over into the baking dish okay and we're going to spread our dough out and before you start plopping your dough into your baking dish Preheat your oven to 450 degrees, okay? That's what you need to bake these at. 450 degrees, preheat your oven. And you're gonna cook them for about 20 minutes. It may take a little longer, it may take a little less. Every oven is different. So go ahead and just spread your biscuit dough out, okay? It's not gonna be simple, like, don't make it like flat and smooth. Just spread it out, okay? Whatever dish you're using, just spread it out like I'm doing. Okay? And it's not gonna be pretty, so don't be like, oh, it's ugly. This, it's called swim biscuits for a reason, okay, y'all? Just spread your dough out. Swim butter biscuits using the two ingredient biscuit recipe, okay? And once you have it plopped and spread it out, and if you want to smooth it out, you can, but I'm not, okay? I'm gonna take this, you can take a knife or whatever. Just cut it into squares to make you some nice size biscuits. Okay, these biscuits are just for me today, so. And let that butter go in between there. Remember, we're using the two ingredient biscuit dough recipe slash swim biscuits. And you go cut it across like so. And you should have about nine biscuits, okay? Now, these ain't the prettiest biscuits, but they're gonna sure taste good, y'all, okay? Now I'm gonna plop these in the oven at 450 degrees for 20 minutes or until they are done, okay? 
Okay, so I have my oven set to 450 degrees. I'm going to set my timer for 20 minutes. If it takes a little longer, I will let you know at the end of the video. If it takes less, I will let you know also at the end of the video. Okay, so we'll be back once our butter swim biscuits using the two ingredient biscuit recipe is ready. everybody I'm back and my swim biscuits are out of the oven these butter swim biscuits are light fluffy airy I'm gonna enjoy these biscuits I hope you guys enjoyed this video tutorial on how to make some delicious biscuits that are easy for your family butter swim biscuits is something that anybody can make especially if you don't have a biscuit cup um, and it's simple ingredients see y'all see the biscuits see how they turned out I'm gonna eat it with my eggs and bacon and maybe some cheese eggs I hope you guys um, stay tuned to my channel this is cooking with TK come back to my channel for another video peace have a great day